driver in the middle here, okay? So a lot of times the CP will come into me. And really, if you look at the scale, let's say this is the scale of handicap right here. You have plus five, you know, going up to, you know, 30, let's say 36 or whatever it is up here. You will find down here, they don't miss hit. It, it's in the middle, okay? Um, can it be off a couple millimeters or a millimeter? Sure, okay? But they're not miss hitting it way on the toe and heel. Um, and then you go progressively further up towards the 36, you know, you get to 12 handicap, you're gonna start saying, oh, so there comes some toe hits, heel hits, and the higher up handicap, you can see more and more misses on that. So people ask me about this all the time and you wanna know about it and understand it. And I'm like, well, in golf, there's, when we have issues with things, there's a technical reason why, okay? So one of the things that's a struggle for me hearing is some, somebody, let's say, say it's, somebody tops the ball, they swing it, and then their partner goes right over them. Man, you swing really hard at that one. Try to slow it down next time. So here's the thing. Could the person be swinging really hard? Sure. But that's not why they missed it, unless they're falling over or something. There's something going on. And I mean, could you, just so nobody uh, <laughs> remarks on this and says, so, sure, could you swing too hard and move your body around too much? Sure, right? But that's not typically the reason, okay, because uh, you're swinging too fast. Because if just swinging fast was the reason, how do guys swing 125 on tour and not have trouble? But people don't think they are look like they're swinging hard. But they're, they're swinging out of their shoes, right? So it's a technical reason for why something happens, okay? So why are we missing the center face? Is it because we don't ever do it? I'll tell you what it typically is, folks. I can't do a lot in here. I'm at my indoor bay with the driver. But it's moving around we're moving way too much in the golf swing okay so you'll see as the golfer head goes way like this they're boom way over here or their head's coming backwards so they wonder you know why they're catching it more on the toe one time on the heel because they try to get the arms out so typically it's the body moving around too much so there's this whole thing in golf about some people will say keep your eye on the ball right I don't know how this happened in golf years ago but it happened so keeping your eye on the ball had turned has turned into well, we want to just watch the ball. Where, intention, where this used to mean is when we hit this golf ball, when I'm at impact with this thing, I want structure to where my head is right here behind the golf ball, right at the golf ball here. I don't want it up here. I don't want it up here or here or here. I, it doesn't mean I have to be staring at it, okay? I can do it with my eyes closed, but the point is structurally, I want my head to be where it started basically right here. So I'm structurally in a good place instead of up here or back here, up here or wherever. That's where problems happen. So how do, how do we fix this? Okay. I would start with my rotational drill and I have a mirror here and a mirror here I'm looking at and I have markings on my mirror so I can see my head. I have a line right here. So I'm in it. So I can see this. Let me go down to more impact and see where I'm at. And I'm pretty much right where I started. So the thing is, especially with driver we cannot move forward on the ball at all okay so here's another way we can do it especially this is great drill folks are if you're an over the top swinger great drill here set up the handle like this here now we're going to get some nice wrist hinge on the way back to the top feel like you're a waiter get your butt going by 10 30. come here in the impact it's that nice angle we're coming in on but look at where my head is it's, it's perfect my hips are out of the way this just gives me a good way to feel what I'm trying to do, and especially for those of you that are come like way over here, you're gonna really feel what it's like to stay coming like under, feeling like it's more underneath. But now I have the mirror, which lines right here, to look at more and see how am I doing. Good. So this is another great drill for it. So I can't do it right here, but if you can have, you know, do your head on something where you put your brace your arms like this and then practice doing that, that's good. Here's the whole point I want to make clear about this thing. I don't like thinking about the head not moving, okay? Although I like it to be not stable, right? I don't want to go in here to here to here. But what I like to think about is it's because of the way we rotate, okay? So if I rotate nicely, look where my head is staying. My head is exactly where I started. I mean, because I'm looking right in the mirror, I have it marked right now. So if I go here, I'm probably half inch behind where I started now, which I'd be okay with for a driver, okay? So... You just got to practice it, okay? So if we can get in the same place every time to where we don't have to go, we're not sliding way forward and figuring out how to catch up to this thing or whatever we're trying to do or way behind with our head like this and falling back, it's going to become a much easier. And, and notice that when you watch the pros on TV, 
how they're going to look so much more stable over that ball, okay? And it's not just the millions of reps they do. It's because they give themselves a chance by not being all over the place, okay? So I would work on that. And then the other thing I would, I would like to see you work on is um, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, one of them is, since I don't have a lot of room in here, I'll just show it to you this way. Uh, basically, it's a simple gate drill, okay? So I would just go like this, tease. Now, I can use alignment sticks, which I like too. But you just build a little gate area like this. You know, and then also I would recommend getting some Dr. Scholl's to put on your, spray your face, the foot powder. And then you can really see where you're hitting if you're struggling with it. So if I just build this little thing here, like I would probably recommend going a little tighter. But at least I have this little gate right now. And I built that pretty tight so my heel kind of caught it because you guys can tell I hit that good. But... That's one way to do it. You could also take lineman sticks. This is another great way to, and just build yourself a little railway that you feel comfortable with. You know, don't, don't hurt yourself at first. Make it, make, you know, give yourself a, probably a little room at first to do it. So like right here, I'm giving myself room, but eventually we can move this thing in, you know, to something like here. So when I come down, I'm right there. So typically a way I like doing this one instead of using two is depending on what, how you swing. For me, I can get too far inside out. So I'll put one on the inside or outside my ball. So that if, way, if I'm going like this, I'll hit it. Now for most of you, I guess, in this world who swing over the top, where are we going to want, where we would put where? Ours. I would want yours opposite, okay? Um, because this right here, so that, I mean, you can work with it either way you want. You can do either side or whatever. Gate drill is great. Um, we're just trying to perfect where we're hitting this thing. Now, I would also add on something, not to make this too hard, but you're already working on this, right? Grab a tee, put it about three or four inches ahead of it, the ball, and that's your low point if you're working with iron, okay? Now, if you're working with driver, you can put a tee up there too, as I've talked about in my other, other ones. And if you need to hit up on the ball, which most people do, unless you're swinging super fast, that tee is good to have there because guess what? I want to hit the ball, right? And then I want to get over that tee. So if you have the swing that's going down, you'll nail that tee. But otherwise, you can just sit here and practice this. You know, how do I get over? Hit, how do I hit down here and then get over that tee? And you can kind of check it when you get down there. And then the final one I would show you, and I have a bunch more. You can read it about it in my blog and see other videos. Is I like doing this one. People seem to learn a lot from this. So you go up to the top and you come down super slow. And what you'll find out when they do it the first time, say they hit on the toe, they're going to be like this. And you go, oh, whoa. They'll be, it's going to be their, their motor patterns there, so you're going to see it. So hopefully this helps. Man, this is so key. Got a guy I was working with recently, probably 240, because he's hitting it all over his face, to 270 carry, just by starting to nail this. So he was pretty excited. So was I. So anyways, um, subscribe if you haven't. And um, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Eric Schulberg, EGS Golf Academy.